Tiago Forte, a productivity guru best known for his course on building a second brain, talks about this note-taking process of progressive summarization, where you turn your notes from just something that you type down and never look at again to notes that you will actually use to churn out content going forwards. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I do progressive summarization within Notion so that your notes can go from something like this to something that looks like this. All this coming up. Hey guys, my name is Daniel Languish and I'm a current student focused on helping you in your productivity and digital organization workflow. And if you are looking for tips to improve your productivity routine, make sure you click the like button below and subscribe to the channel to grow in all things productivity, including Notion videos, just like this one. And as always, any links to things mentioned within this video will be down in the description below, so make sure you check that out. Now within Tiago Forte's progressive summarization process, there are five layers that you're going to do and you're going to do them over a course of time. You don't just do them all in one day. This is something that you do slowly throughout time so your notes are slowly turning into something that's useful. And this is beneficial because not only are you making your notes better, but you're also going back through your notes and doing some spaced repetition to help you remember and learn the things that you wrote down. So the first level of this process is to just take notes on whatever content uh, or thing that you're learning. Then once you have those notes down, you'll go into the second layer, which is bolding the main points within those notes. Then once you have those bolded notes, you're gonna go to level three, which is highlighting just the key main points within the bolded sections. Once you have all those highlights, you'll go to level four, which is creating a mini summary of the entire content that you took down at the top of the page. And the fifth level, which is a level that not every note hits, is where the notes that you took resonated with you so deeply that you actually wanna churn out content based off those notes, and he calls this remix. So let me show you how I do all of this process within Notion. So you'll see we're not actually open at Notion initially, and, and we're open at this website called Readwise, and that's because Readwise is one of the central things that makes this whole process work. Now, for those of you who don't know, Readwise is a service that takes all your highlights from various services, your Kindle highlights, your Instapaper highlights, your Air podcast highlights, uh, lots of other areas, and compiles them all in one location. And then it has a Notion export and can export all those highlights into Notion, which is gonna be key for this process. So today we're gonna to be looking at an article that I read recently by Ali Abdal called uh, The Art of Reading More Effectively and Efficiently. And Ali Abdal is just an incredible productivity guru. I've learned a lot from him. So make sure you go check out his channel. I have a link to that down below. And he's just a funny guy. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be looking at the art of reading more effectively and efficiently. And you'll see here in Readwise, we uh, pull it up and I've got a bunch of highlights that I took with that. I took it with Instapaper and whatnot. So now we're gonna hop over into Notion. And you'll see here, this is kind of my uh, board view for highlighting in Notion. Now Readwise automatically creates a database for you where it exports everything. And the standard view is just this kind of all comes in like this. Um, and then it comes with different categories of books, articles, tweets, podcasts. But what's awesome is Notion's customizable. So you can create whatever views you want for uh, all this information that's being exported. So I actually created a board view and then added categories to show the different stages of progressive summarization. So when a new thing comes in, it just comes in a no column and then I just drag it over into unprocessed. And then as we go, when I when it's bolded, it goes here, highlighted, it goes here, summarized. And then if I choose to use the note uh, back in some content that I'm using, uh, it'll be remixed. So we're actually gonna do this article and I've already bolded it. So I'll show you, I'll show you kind of what that looks like here. So we're gonna pull it up. Um, so when it comes in, the thing I do when I bold is, let's actually go back here. Uh, let me show you one that uh, isn't bolded or anything yet. When it gets exported by Readwise, um, it just comes in like uh, a bunch of different, uh, it's, it's not very clean. It's, I mean, it's literally just the text and then it's got a link to view highlights, although I don't really like that in the final version of my notes. So besides bolding, I also go through and just kind of clean it up and make the notes look prettier. So we're gonna pull up this uh, article by Ali Abdal, and I have already bolded and cleaned it up a little bit. So you'll see here, you know, I added a table of contents, which is awesome because I can just click and, you know, jump around. 
And then when you're going through and bolding, uh, I'm going through and just picking the information that is, jumps out to me as kind of the most, well, some of the most important things. I'm pretty generous with bolding. And that's because after bolding, we're gonna then be going through and highlighting and highlighting is like the bare bones, biggest points that you take away from it. So right here, we've got it all bolded, you know, got some different categories and all and all sorts of stuff. It was a really interesting article. I, I really enjoyed it. And so now I'm gonna just, you know, take you through highlighting, uh, how that would work. So I would have a, you know, maybe a reminder on my task manager to go through and highlight. And so now when I'm highlighting, I'm gonna go through the bolded sections and pick out just the bare bones uh, things that are kind of essential to the article. So I'm gonna go through and highlight it now. Okay, so now that we are done with highlighting, we are gonna go back here. And normally what I would do is I don't do all these things on one day. So I would maybe set a, a reminder, create a task for maybe a week out, you could even do a month out to go and I would create a task to then highlight this article. And that way, uh, kind of over time, I'm refreshing myself of what it said. But since it is now highlighted, we're gonna drag it over into the highlighted category. And then the final uh, step before to get the note into a somewhat completed state, unless you decide to obviously create content out of it, is the summarization stage. So sometime down the road, I'd go into the article and I would go through here. And now what you're doing is you're reading through your highlights and then you're gonna create a summary at the top of the page that is in your own words. And it's really important that it's in your own words because that's your understanding of it. You know, the way that you can explain things shows that you have an understanding of it. So what I'll do here is I'm gonna pop this down a little bit and I'm gonna create a, a thing that says summary. And then usually what I do is then I do a call out and it, I like to have the little uh, light bulbs uh, icon, it uh, just kind of shows what is the insight that I took away from this. And so I am going to read through my highlights and then create a qu short summary. Okay, so now I have created a summary. So I've kind of got this uh, summary at the top here. I usually try to keep them a little shorter. There was a lot of good stuff in this article. So I, you really want to try to just keep it as a short thing so that when you're coming back to your notes, uh, I don't have to go through and read you know, all, all of this stuff. Instead, when I go into a note, I have my summary at the top and I can remember immediately what is the gist of all the notes that I take. And you, know, you can do this for articles, you can do this for books, you can, it really works for anything. So now we go back uh, you know, to our board and I would drag this over, in, oh, there we go. I'll drag this over into summarized. And so this is kind of a semi-completed category. This is where a lot of the articles are gonna sit. But then let's say I am just so uh, impacted by Ali's uh, article of the art of reading more effectively, and I want to actually create something out of this. Maybe I'm making a video about uh, uh, the importance of reading and stuff. And I remember, oh, hey, I read that article that was really uh, important and resonated with me. Well, here's another great aspect of what I have with this system is that whenever a note comes in, I have got some relations to different areas in my life and I'm trying to kind of implement uh, the para method of projects, areas, resources, and archives of kind of organizing my life. And so whenever I am done with a note, I kind of take it through those categories to see if it fits in any of them. So the first thing I look at is it has a relation to all the projects that I am currently working on. So if I am currently creating a video about reading, I could click here 
and all of my you know current YouTube videos would pop up and I could attach this to that video. So then when I'm working on that video, all of the notes that are directly related to it will literally have a relation to it in Notion. If I don't have a project I'm currently working on, but maybe I'm thinking about creating a video in the future, well then I'll go to areas and I could relate it to my YouTube area. Um, and then when I go into YouTube, I can see all the articles that I'm thinking about churning out content in the future. If neither of those things work, uh, then it kind of just stays here in my resources. Uh, I've got it uh, under a relation to interests. Um, this is kind of just think of it like a tag. So I've got it under reading so that if I ever in the future want to do some research about different things I've, I've read about reading, uh, then I've got it uh, related here. And if it didn't fit into any of those, well, I probably wouldn't have taken notes on it, but if it happens to be, then I would just toss it into my archives. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the process I do for how I actually churn content out of it. And that would be kind of the, the remix stage that Tiago Forte talks about. Well, that's it for today, guys. And I hope you can see how this progressive summarization process can be really helpful in not just taking notes and them getting buried deep into your system. That was a problem I had for so long as I would take all these notes, spend all this time, and I never use them for anything. And this is really challenging the way we take notes of you only take notes on if it's actually gonna give you an output, if you're actually gonna be able to create something from it. And so when I'm taking initial notes on things I read, things I listen to, I'm actively thinking, you know, what can I create out of this? How does this relate to the projects I'm working on, the different areas I have? Um, or is there something in the future that I'm gonna create out of it? It's really been a game changing thing for me to start to think about how to actually use my notes to create more content. And if you enjoyed this video and wanna check out the rest of my Notion playlist, I've got a whole playlist that's covering uh, various aspects of how to use Notion. Uh, you can click on the link above. Anyone who's new for starting out in Notion, that'll be a great starting place for you to just kind of learn the basics and uh, get comfortable with this amazing application. There we go. I think that's it for today. Until next time.